Today I'm coming with a hot topic. How do I keep my cat off my houseplants? Most of cat lovers are not only cat lovers, are also plant lovers. I have no idea why this behavior happens, but it happens. If you think there's a reason why this is happening, please leave it in the comments. I'm super curious to know more about this cat plant lover behavior. Cats have the annoying habit of chewing houseplants. Oh, and they're not gonna go for the orchid that hasn't given you flowers in four years. No. If you've shelled out big bucks in a variegated monstera, I bet they're gonna shred that down into pieces instead. Moreover, there are some houseplants that can be toxic for our cats. And we want to make sure that they're not chewing on them. But probably the best thing you can do is avoiding toxic plants altogether. I'm going to be uploading a video very soon talking about which plants are toxic for cats and which are not. So if you want to know everything about it, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so you're notified when the video is out. But today we're gonna focus on how to prevent our cat from eating our houseplants. I'm going to share with you five ways to do that. Let's work. The first thing you have to do if your cat is eating your houseplants is understand what's causing the plant damaging behavior. Because almost behind every cat misbehavior, there's either hunger, lack of attention, or lack of exercise. Your cat might be very easily jumping on plants out of boredom. Make sure you provide your cat two, three good play sessions a day. In the case that your cat doesn't interact with you when you're trying to play with them, probably you're doing something wrong. There's no such thing as a cat without a predatory instinct. I'm also working on a video on how to play with your cat to drain their energy. So if you haven't done it yet, click the subscribe button so you don't have to wonder again why your cat is not playing with you. If we can cross out hunger, lack of attention, or lack of exercise, we might just be in front of a cat that's curious. So once curiosity has been satisfied in a couple days, the plants should be fine. If your cat has taken it against one specific or one set of plants, they might be lacking some nutrients and they are trying to satisfy that lack of nutrients through chomping your plant. It's always a good idea to talk to a veterinarian if your cat experiences some changes in their habits, especially if they are eating plants regularly. So back to the video. I'm going to start with what I believe are the fastest and easiest solutions towards achieving our goal and I'm going to end the video with less obvious, equally effective methods that might work if the other ones don't. Also, if you stick around until the end of the video I want to make sure that I tell you also what you should not be doing if you're trying to avoid your cat from eating your plants because sometimes while trying to stop a behavior what we're doing it's only reinforcing it as easy as it may sound the easiest way to prevent your cat from chomping on your plants it's setting those plants off your cat's reach. Finding a place which is of limits is as easy as finding a top shelf or hanging them. You can purchase hanging pots and hooks in any garden store. Hanging plants is both attractive and cat proof. Also, if you happen to have spaces that remain close, you can choose to put your houseplant collection there. And I'm not gonna spend much more time on this one, I think it's pretty straightforward. One of the life-changing tricks you can teach your cat using clicker training, it's no or leave it. Without entering too much into the topic, because this can be a whole new video, I'll walk you through the steps to teach them this command. We first need to demonstrate the behavior, and the best way to achieve this is with a treat in our hand. We are going to open the hand and show it to them. When your cat tries to approach it, we say no, and we close the hand. As soon as your cat loses interest and stops sniffing around, you click, then reward. Once your cat understands the command, leave it or no, you can start using it when your cat is doing things that you don't want them to do. When they stop doing it, you click, then reward. Careful here, there's a very fine line between teaching your cat to stop munching your plants and rewarding your cat from munching your plants. Make sure that whenever you decide to reward your cat for stopping, they understand that the behavior that you want is them not munching the plants. Otherwise, whenever they want a treat, they know that they go to the plant, they munch it, then they stop, then they get a treat. I really recommend you to practice clicker training and positive reinforcement before doing this because in the case that you miss, you might be reinforcing the behavior that you're trying to avoid in the first place. Spraying your plants with some products will also deter your cat from chewing and gnawing on your plants. And you can either create your own home remedy or buy it in the pet store or online. They won't hurt your cat, but they're gonna discourage them for poking around it. A very cheap and effective homemade formula can be done with ingredients that you probably already have in your home. Water and vinegar. Cats despise the smell. 
and it doesn't hurt your plan. Get a bottle with a spray, fill it half with water, and add half of vinegar. Ta da! Another not as cheap home remedy it's using essential oils. One third essential oil, two thirds of water. I like using the oils option, despite it's slightly more expensive, but it smells great. Some good essential oils for doing this are lemongrass, citronella, peppermint, and lavender. You can pick the one you like, and if it doesn't work, you have three other options to try. In the case that this is too much work, <coughs> lazy, I will add some shoppable links in the description box down below. Using spicy cayenne pepper might be another option, but it might hurt your cat if it gets into their paws and they touch their eyes. I've read that there has been cases where the cat tries to scratch the cayenne pepper off their eyes, causing self-harm. I've tried to find more information about cayenne kickers used on cats and how they can cause self-harm, but I haven't found anything. So if you know of any case or you have any direction that you can give me, Please leave it in the comments, I would love to know more. Negative reinforcement can be used with cats as well. The idea is to make your cat associate approaching the plant with something bad. Like getting sprayed in the face with air or water. There are some products that can help you achieve this. Sensor activated sprays, which are going to be triggered when your cat approaches the plant. Much like a booty trap. This won't hurt your cat, but it's going to make them fearful. Making them have second thoughts every time they want to approach your green area. I'm going to be adding the shoppable link in the description box down below in the case that you want to try this method. Another way to achieve this is to spray your cat with water from the distance. From the distance. You don't want your cat to associate the punishment with you. You want your cat to think that the punishment came out of nowhere. So if you use this method, make sure you are discreet. Don't yell and shoot at the same time. Most of the mentioned tactics are not gonna work if you don't address the chomping cause. If they are very selective about the plants they choose to chomp, they might be looking for an extra source of nutrients or fiber. Also, cats are known of chomping plants to produce vomit and remove the hairballs they have in their stomach. Providing your cat with plants that you're happy to share with them is as important as stopping the behavior. Munching on these plants is going to satisfy their need to chew and hopefully distracting them for your most prized plant. Make sure that the plants that you're providing are safe for cats, like catnip or cat grass. If what your cat is looking for is attention or killing boredom, I highly encourage you to spend more time with them. Two or three good play sessions a day would suffice. Leaving some toys around, especially if they're interactive ones, might also make the trick if we cannot be available for them. If you choose to do this, make sure you shuffle them. If the toys become too familiar, they're going to get bored and they're just going to ignore them. I want to stop for a second and share with you the things that you should not do. Also, if you're finding value in this video, it might be a good moment to hit the like button. It helps me reach more people by telling them that this video might be worth watching. If your cat is looking for attention, playtime or food, and you stop what you're doing to provide it to them because they're munching on your plants, you're just reinforcing the behavior. You're telling them, if you attack my plants, I'm going to stop and do what you want me to do. So they are actually training you. Stop doing that. Also, if you don't want your cat to hate you, don't punish the cat yourself. Because it might keep your cat off the plan. But your cat is going to hate you in the process. You don't want your cat to associate punishment with you. This is the first video of a series that I want to produce about how to prevent my cat from... If there's any specific thing you want your cat to stop doing, Leave it in the comments, I really appreciate getting your ideas. Also, consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any future updates. Russian Blue.